Rise Up Radio. Our mission is simple. To connect. Inspire. Impact. Transform. We will connect with our city's people and businesses. Inspire all of us to achieve our dreams. Transform the city by focusing on the resilience of our people. And positively impact all who live and work here. Rise Up believes our city is a city on the rise. And all of us need to broadcast just how truly amazing this city is. Welcome to the show. This is Tom Chesser, your host on Business Innovators Radio. We are here today in San Antonio, Texas, talking with our featured guest, Amy Wees. Amy is an entrepreneur and inventor of Sift Ease, her litter box cleaning solution. Our topic for today is how this San Antonio entrepreneur got her litter box cleaning invention Sift Ease auditioned on Shark Tank. This San Antonio audition was held on Sunday, July the 15th, 2018, in front of the Shark Tank casting directors at the Downtown Convention Center. I was there covering the event and interviewing these inventors. That is where I met Amy. It is now October, and a lot has happened since then. So we are here today. To follow up, we will be talking about her audition and her Shark Tank experiences, her invention, Sifties, and how it solves the problem of cat box litter odor and saves the day for cat parents, eliminating odors, saving time, and saving money. We will be talking about her brand and her company, Clean Litter Club, and then we'll kind of wrap things up with talking about Amazing at Home, how she is helping inventors and entrepreneurs become successful. Welcome to the show, Amy. Thanks for having me, Tom. I realize we have a lot uh, that I would really like to talk about. So first of all, let's start with Shark Tank. Can you start off with telling us how that actually you got and heard about for this San Antonio audition, the casting call? Sure. Well, I heard about this casting call. My friend tagged me on Facebook and it was two days before the event. So I was, you know, super nervous because I looked at the website and everything and I thought, well, they're here in San Antonio. This is a great opportunity. And uh, I looked at the event and it said you had to have an approved application before you could audition. So I was thinking this was going to be like every other Shark Tank audition where you wait in line with thousands But this was not the case. This particular one, you actually had to apply. And I thought, wow, this was this was announced three months ago. There's no way I'll get in. But I decided, you know what, if you don't go for it, you know, what do you have to lose? So I went ahead and filled out the application. And we my husband and I went to uh, the event center the next day and we just waited, even though we didn't have an email or anything telling us that we were going to be able to audition. We thought, well, maybe there'll be some way we can get in. But you got the email while you were there at the audition, right? Yeah. While we were there waiting and talking with some other entrepreneurs, it was a lot of fun. Uh, We got the email that said we were approved and we had a time slot that was far later that afternoon. So I was just elated. You know, Amy, what I understand, you and your family are really big fans of Shark Tank. And this was not your first experience with Shark Tank. Well, of course, I'm a huge fan of the show. So I've watched it since like season one. And, you know, it's like the whole family. We all get in the living room together. We watch the show. And I've always had that inventor spirit, you know, where uh, so I like to, you know, be a the the couch uh, entrepreneur watching Shark Tank saying, oh, that's a great product or that's not a great product. But I've never taken one of my drawings or my ideas um, and turned it into a product until now. So uh, it was really exciting that I was finally going on this journey. So I actually bought tickets when I first started my invention process. I bought tickets to um, Los Angeles to go and wait in the long lines and have a chance to audition. But being a big fan of the show, I know that they really look for you to have some sales, some numbers, and established brand. So I canceled my tickets and I thought, you know, I really need to wait until I've got some things handled. So when this new uh, opportunity came about, it was really great because I had great sales for my brand. My brand was established and I knew Sifty was about to come on the market and I knew that I had a real chance. Now that date finally arrived and everything is ready to go and you did your presentation. How did the pitch go? 
And what did you focus on? Well, I was so, so nervous. Uh, you know, I was going over my numbers all day long because I know you really need to know your numbers. And there was, you know, long lines even to even for the approved applicants to get up in front of the casting director and, and uh, give your pitch. So I just practiced my numbers over and over again and made sure that I was confident. And once I got up there, it went so smoothly. I hit all the points I wanted to hit. And I really focused on how Sifties solves the problems for pet owners and, and how it really solves a problem that needs to be solved. And uh, and then, you know, back that up with oh, it's coming on the market next week and we already have great sales for our brand and and kind of just finish it up there. And at the end, the uh, casting director said, I have no questions. Great product. And I was like, yay, awesome. So it was really exciting. Amy, can you tell us about your Invention Sifties and what motivated you to create it and how it's solved a huge problem in your life? Well, I have three cats and three litter boxes, and uh, we were cleaning our litter boxes, scooping them uh, twice a day, and they still just really stunk. And I have chronic severe migraines, which means I get 15 or more of migraines a month. And these migraines are triggered by smells, lights, sounds. It's just, you know, you, you don't want to have even one migraine, but when you have more than one or as many as I have, it really becomes a problem. And I thought because I could still smell the litter boxes after we were scooping twice a day that I was going to have to rehome my cats. And that to me was just, you know, our, our fur babies are our family. And it's just, it was really heartbreaking. And I thought I have to do something. I had tried all the sifting litter boxes, the supposed self-cleaning litter boxes, and no matter what, they all had the same common theme that they stink even after you've cleaned them. And so I just thought, okay, I've got to find a better way to more easily clean the litter box. And that's why I woke up with this idea one day and thought, okay, I just need something I can pour the litter box into and, you know, make it really easy to clean. And it, it was great. I woke up and went to Home Depot and I built my prototype and I, it was just metal mesh and wood in the beginning. And it worked great. It worked really great. And I was like, oh, wow, we have something. So then, you know, we started uh, cleaning our litter boxes with it, and it was so fast and easy. And the crazy thing was, after a few days, we didn't smell our litter boxes anymore at all. Not at all. And we were like, "What? what's going on? Why don't we smell them? We're cleaning them less often than we clean them with the scoop, but we should still smell them, right? But we didn't. And so we, we, ha we had to figure out what was it about cleaning the litter box this way that eliminated the odor. And we were having a lot less waste as well because, you know, sifting it this way actually uh, causes the clean litter to kind of pass through and, and you don't have to throw as much uh, litter away every time you're cleaning it. But anyway, we figured out that those clumps that get stuck inside the litter box uh, you're breaking those apart when you use a scoop, and that's what those things really stink bad. And so when you're using sifties to clean it and you're pouring it out like that, those clumps stay intact, and you're not breaking them apart and contaminating the clean litter, which is what we were doing before. So it was just amazing to us. We were able to use the same litter for like three or four weeks, and before we were throwing it away every week. So just it was just amazing for us to be able to be right next to our litter box and not smell it at all. And we couldn't believe it. We thought maybe we'd gone nose blind, right, to the to the smell. So we brought over people that have dogs that don't, you know, that don't even like cats or whatever. And we brought them into our little laundry room with three litter boxes. They didn't smell a thing. So we knew this had to be brought to the world, whatever it took, whatever it took, we were going to go through this and we were going to go on this journey and we were going to bring this product to the market. And so we're so excited that we've done that. And so far, we've just had raving reviews. Amy? I am in here today in your home, and I saw your litter boxes, and I can testify, you can't smell a thing. It has eliminated litter box odor. Now that we can clearly see that it solves the problem by eliminating litter box odor, tell us a little bit of how it saves time. I saw the YouTube video about the race you had with Sifties and the old-fashioned method of scooping. Tell me once again, how long did it take you to clean your litter box? 
Well, first of all, we have two big litter boxes. We use the big high-sided tub litter boxes. So um, my husband was the one in the video next to me, and he, you know, I was dreading scooping because I did not want to go back to scooping. Uh, but, you know, he, he offered to do that in the video. And I was cleaning uh, the litter box with stifties right next to him, and all you have to do is pick it up and pour, and you're done, right? Sanitize your litter box, pour the clean litter back in, and you're finished. And when you're scooping, you've got to do it one clump at a time. <laughs> so, of course, I was done in less than a minute, and he was still scooping two minutes later. Yeah, it was definitely over two minutes. And, you know, the funny thing about that was when I was watching it, he did not look happy. Here you are standing and you're done. All of a sudden, cat walks up. The cat walks up, sniffs his litter box, and turns up its nose and walks up away. Now that was the interesting part that I like. So we talked about how it saves time. Now can you talk to us about another huge advantage and that is how about it saving money? Well, people spend a lot of money on litter. I mean, if you're throwing your litter away every week, you're spending a lot of money on litter. Uh, So just being able to reuse that litter and have that litter that you're reusing be odor-free uh, it's really going to save you a lot of money. So as I said, we used to buy, you know, for three cats, probably like a, a 40, 40 pounds of litter every week. And now we can use that same 40 pounds for almost a month. So that really, I mean, that's that's a significant savings. It's about $15 every time you go to the store and you buy that. So if you're buying that four times a month and now you're only having to buy it once, maybe twice a month, you're really saving a significant amount of money. And not to mention, think about the environment. All of that litter waste that is going into your garbage can and into our landfills. Uh, this is a really great way to just do our part and, and not uh, be wasting so much. And I don't blame you for wasting it if it stinks. But I'm just so happy that I was able to figure out uh, how to how to reuse it over and over. Now that we can see the whole picture of how sifties saves the day for cat lovers, cat parents, by eliminating cat litter box odors, saving them time and saving them money. Can you tell us about your pet retail business, Clean Litter Club, that you launched last year after coming up with a solution to solve this stinky litter box problem? Yeah, so that's our company is Clean Litter Club. That's how you know we kind of got all this started. And we thought we don't just want to have uh, one product, right? We want to have a full line of products. So we started, when, when we started the invention process, we, um, we started Clean Litter Club and our focus is pets and family and pets as your family. So we have a line of floor mats that are beautiful all over your home. They don't have paw prints on them. They can be used anywhere in your home and your pets love them too. They're waterproof, 100% antimicrobial. They're just, they're wonderful. So we have four runners uh, and we have four mats, uh, all different designs, but beautiful modern designs that can be used throughout your home. And that, you know, can be used as pet feeding mats for dogs or cats, um, you know, in the kennel, wherever you want to use them. Uh, So we love that. And we also have a few um, different types of pet toys for dogs and cats. We just came out with a Christmas stocking uh, stuffed with cat toys, which is really fun because a lot of people want to include their cats at Christmas time right there on the mantle. So we did that this Christmas and uh, we carry a couple of other brands, uh, dog toys as well, made in the USA brand. So, uh, you know, we're just we're loving it and, uh, and we love to, to have our, our focus be pets and family. Amy, this has been a, a fantastic journey for you. And I, I guess it really has been a, a wild, fast paced ride that you've been on, and a lot has happened. Sifties is being sold on Amazon, and it is a number one brand, Amazon's choice, uh, selling crazy in Canada and getting fantastic five-star reviews all over the place. Yeah, it's been a wild ride. So we launched, uh, our other products are doing very well as well on Amazon and our website, but um, Sifties launched uh, just a few weeks ago. It's crazy. And we already are the number one new release on Amazon. Uh, we've been selling really well. Uh, we are also now going into Canada and selling on Amazon Canada. Uh, we're headed to Europe next. We're very excited to, you know, just bring this product because people need it everywhere. Uh, so we're trying to get it out there as fast as possible. 
Um, but we're really excited to to be everywhere. And, uh, you know, the, the brand is doing very well. All of our products are doing very well. And we're just so happy. You know, the reviews that we've received is people are just elated that they can't believe how easy this product is to use and how much time it's saving them. Uh, and it's just it really is wonderful for me. Uh, you know, I, I love my job. I've served my country for 20 years and I, I love it. And I, uh, you know, I'm really going to miss it. But at the same time, this is my dream and I'm so excited. I can't, I'm so excited to, uh, be able to really bring Clean Litter Club to be that wonderful company that solves problems for pet people, for pet parents and families. Uh, and, you know, just, just bring that into, you know, the next five or 10 years, see how we're doing. And uh, I'm so excited to be part of that. Now let's talk about the future of SIFTIES and the Clean Litter Club. What are your future plans for your brand? Well, I just hope to keep developing really great products. I have some ideas in mind. I'm already developing some, some new products uh, that pet parents really need. So I'm going to continue making great things. And really, my hope is to get involved with the shelters. Think about all of the volunteers at the shelters across the country. They are cleaning hundreds of litter boxes. And I mean, ouch, that's really tough. It, it, a lot of them are just having to throw them away or they're just, you know, using these cardboard boxes. And uh, for SIFTIs to be able to make a difference for them would be really great. So I'd, I want to be able to get out there and get involved with the shelters as well as I'm hoping that, you know, Sifties, I'm really hoping that it allows more people to make light of cleaning the litter box and, you know, rehome less pets because so many pets are surrendered every year because of behavioral problems or just people say, hey, it's, it's too tough. I don't want, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, so, you know, it's, I'm just hoping that I can have a small part in that. And uh, that can help more more uh, cats and dogs find homes and uh, help pet parents just make the job easier and help them enjoy their pets a little more. Amy, I think you're just really right on track. Before we started the, the show earlier, you had shared some real facts with me. So here I'm reading the stats that you had given me. It, it's clear Americans are crazy about their pets. According to the American Pet Products Association, an estimated 78 million dogs and 85.8 million cats are owned in the United States. Approximately 44% of all households in the United States have a dog and 35% and have a cat. However, at the same time, many, many animals are surrendered to shelters every year for pet problems, counting for 47% of rehomed dogs and 42% of rehomed cats. These problems are defined as problematic behaviors, aggressive behaviors, their pet grew larger than what it was expected, or health problems the owner cannot handle. You are making a difference with Sift Ease. Not only saving the day for pet parents, you are saving the day for cats and also for the shelters uh, that take care of these cats. Amy, that is truly amazing. Since we're talking about amazing, let, let's talk about uh, this other initiative that you have, and that is to help uh, entrepreneurs and inventors with their success, their product, get into to market, and the same way that you did with SIFTEs, and you call that Amazing at Home. Talk to us about Amazing at Home. Started a little uh, entrepreneurs networking group called Amazing at Home. And uh, we've been helping any entrepreneur, mostly e-commerce entrepreneurs who are wanting to develop products, who are wanting to launch their own brands, you know, and, and all over the world, not just in the U.S. Uh, there's so many people out there that have that entrepreneurial spirit, but they're just not sure where to start. So I found when I went through this journey that there were so many people that were trying to do the same thing and just really struggling. And I kind of have that figuring it out spirit. You know, I'm really good at figuring things out. And uh, and I'm also really good at teaching others. So I just started this little community and uh, it's really blossomed. And I've just I, I already have a few entrepreneurs uh, that have come to me for help that have had success of their own. And that's just the greatest honor that I could ever receive. And, uh, you know, I just hope to really keep that going. I've been a guest speaker in a few other of uh, the larger entrepreneurial groups, and 
Um, and I'm just overwhelmed at the uh, at the positive feedback that I've received, but also overwhelmed at the success that I've been able to help other people achieve. And uh, I'm just I'm just so blessed, Tom. I'm I'm more blessed than I could ever imagine. You know what really is amazing is that you saw a need, you came up a solution, and you saved the day. You saved the day for pets. Pet parents, you save the day by saving them money, saving them time, eliminating owners. Then you had Clean Litter Club, and then basically you then went into Amazing at Home. That is truly what is amazing is the process that you have done and gone through to be successful in what you have done. Amy, one of the follow-up questions, and I guess I want to really ask this, do you think you'll, you'll get a call to audition in front of the Sharks anytime in the near future? Well, you know, I, I have no idea. It, I was really excited to do it. I've gone over this again and again in my head, and I'm thinking, well, I have everything that they're looking for, or at least I think I do. But, you know, I have an established brand. I have sales. I have a great idea that solves a problem. I certainly hope I hear something. But then again, you never know. If there were 50 other pet products that auditioned this year and they need some other ideas, Either way, it was a great honor to be able to audition, and I had such a great time networking with all the entrepreneurs there and met a lot of really great other inventors and everything, and so it was just a wonderful experience that uh, I'll hold dear. Well, Amy, that about wraps up all my questions for the show, and you know, what I'd really like for you to do is, can you share your contact information so those people that are interested in buying Sifties or basically going to your website, can can reach out and contact you. Uh, can you share that information with us right now? Sure. Well, uh, you can either go to siftease.com or cleanlitterclub.com and, uh, you know, check out any of our products. Or you can just type siftease in the search bar on Amazon, uh, or you can Google us. Uh, and we're, we're happy. We're all, we're all over social media. We're you know, on YouTube. We have a clean litter club channel, uh, with, you know, some litter reviews and stuff like that. So uh, we're always happy to hear your feedback and, and your thoughts. And, and, uh, we just, we love our customers. Thank you very much, Amy, for being a part of the show and sharing all this valuable information with us today about Sifties and, and your product and your brand and everything that you're doing, the crusade that you're on. Uh, to help um, so many people out there save the day. Uh, this is Tom Chesser with Business Innovators Radio. And I'm like to say before I close the show today that we all can make a difference in other people's lives and the community that we live in. It's up to us what type of difference we make. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you for listening and remember... By working together, we can make a difference in our city. 